In the protests in the aftermath of George Floyd's death, a large group of protesters toppled and vandalized a monument to Francis Scott Key, most Americans know him as the author of the Star Spangled Banner, but he also owns slaves. The city of San Francisco mothballed his statue, and as KPX 5's Devin Feely reports, it's now launched an intensive review of its public art collection. <laughs> Fifty-two feet of racist hate. The monument to Francis Scott Key towered over Golden Gate Park's music concourse for 132 years. It was built in tribute to the man who gave us our national anthem and the lines, the land of the free and the home of the brave a patriotic vision of America in primary colors. Historians, however, say Key's legacy is darker and more complex. He participated in slavery. At the same time, he encouraged free black folks and free black people to migrate back to Africa. And when protesters toppled his statue last year, it raised questions about the city's public art collection and if that collection truly represented the values of an increasingly diverse population. There's no reason to honor a man like Francis Scott Key anymore. Former KPIX anchor and sculptor Dana King created an art installation that now encircles the former monument to Key. It includes 350 figures, each representing a captive African on board the very first slave ship to arrive on the shores of this country more than 400 years ago. To see 350 black bodies that represent 400 years of struggle. They represent a, a demand, not just a desire, but a demand for justice. The city has launched a top to bottom review of its public art collection. There are no immediate plans to bring the statue of Key out of storage. It's likely to collect dust and cobwebs for the foreseeable future. But that doesn't answer the larger question about what do we do with other early architects of our country? who own slaves as well. Should we, in 2021, have monuments to people that participated in and profited from slavery? In the framework of the 21st century and even the 20th century, uh, the post-civil rights movement, absolutely not. Monumental reckoning is a powerful, if temporary, solution. The figures forming a silent chorus reminding us that no matter the lines of the song, too long this country has in reality been the land of the free and the home of the enslaved. In San Francisco, Devin Feely, KPIX 5. Monumental reckoning will remain in Golden Gate Park for the next two years. The plan after that is to replace it with a permanent sculpture, but that is still on the drawing boards.